Adam Alloy here from JNEquipment.com. I do all of our building here, and today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your current soft wash system with a three-way ball valve to a soft wash system that has a built-in proportioner. Now this is gonna work for a standard proportioner or our elite proportioner system. Both processes are gonna be exactly the same. Now, this is going to allow you to take your system and upgrade it so that you no longer have to do pre-batching and you can live mix and change the ratios of surfactant and or chlorine and SH that you're gonna be putting into this system. To do this today, we are gonna be using the following tools. A 5 16 nut driver, a 7 16 wrench with socket on it, a utility knife with a brand new blade, and a cup of hot water. The parts that we're going to have is going to be a proportioner pre-mounted on a plate. I've got these available at my site pre-done so it makes a quick and easy installation. We are also going to be using a 26 inch length of half inch poly braid hose. I've attached two stainless steel hose clamps that can go up to a half inch around. Um, makes it easier to have them pre-installed so you're not fumbling during the installation process. And we are also going to be using a cup of white lithium grease. I recommend using white lithium because it's not going to degrade the plastics. And then we're also gonna be using a cup of hot water, which is going to ease the installation of this hose. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the two stainless steel uh, um, hose clamps from our suction line hose on the system using the 5 16 nut driver. The next step is to take your utility knife. We are going to be cutting a slice in this hose. We're gonna be very careful that we don't cut too deep. We don't want to gouge the barb itself. So as you cut, you're gonna feel these poly braid lines beginning to pop in there. You can give it a little test and you'll see how deep you are. Um, you want to make sure that you cut from the tip down to the base of this hose. All right. Removing this is much easier if you fold the hose down and give it a little bit of a twist. As you can see here, that hose popped right off. We're now gonna do the same thing to the hose up here. All right, that hose is now removed. Take that hose clamp off and we can dispose of that. All right, now the next step is using your 7 16 wrench and socket, we're gonna remove the two quarter inch stainless steel locking nuts that we have on this plate. Now, once we remove this, we are no longer gonna need the ball valve, so you can just set this component aside. Save your carriage bolt, nut, and washer. We're gonna be reusing those again. Next step is we're gonna take and we are gonna put our proportioner down and we're gonna mount it onto the same position here on the side that the other one was mounted through the same holes up here in the top of the plate. All right, you do not need to kill these when you put them on. This just needs to be firmly in place. You wanna make sure that you get no rattle and that these aren't gonna loosen up in time with the unit running. All right, next we want to install the 90 degree barb. Now it's important that when we position this on here, we're gonna make it so that this barb is just past 
this bar. We want to ensure that it is not going to rub up against the frame during operation. This piece you also do not need to put in super strong. You want it to be firm enough that it's going to have tension on it, obviously to not leak, but also so that it doesn't spin while we're installing the suction line hose. All right, that is lined up. All right, the next step is going to be using the white lithium grease. This is going to make your installation much easier. As before, I recommend using white lithium over other greases. This way you're not gonna have a degradation of the plastic with time. Uh, feel free to put this on heavy. We will remove the excess when we are finished. All right, the next step is in to install our 26 inch suction line. Now, to make this easier, you can take a standard hammer and you can just hit the ends of the hose, your bottom two inches, and smash it from multiple directions. This is going to loosen up the poly braid inside and make it easier to put on. I also have here a cup of water I heated up beforehand that can ease the installation. So you're gonna want to hammer the ends and put it in the, the hot water for a Super easy installation. We will leave this in the water for anywhere between 15 seconds to two minutes, depending on how hot the water is in your outdoor conditions. Once we've done this, we want to take and put this line starting on the pump box. It'll make the final installation of this piece over here easier. You just take and push this on and pull it in onto the barb making sure that you pull it all the way down to the base. Now, the second component over here, we're gonna put it into the water. We're gonna make sure that we heat the top or bottom two inches of this in the same way. And again, once this is done being warmed up, we are gonna take and we are gonna pull this all the way on to the proportioner. Once we've done that, I'm gonna remove my excess grease from around the outside. And we're gonna go back to the 5 16th nut driver and we are gonna loosen these clamps up here and we are gonna retighten them around the barb. Now it's important when you put these on the barb that you put them onto the very base. You don't wanna put it out towards the end. This is gonna give you the strongest um, uh, leak protection and hose installation. Wipe some grease off my handle here. All right, you also find after you've tightened these up that after a few seconds or 30 seconds that you'll be able to get a little bit more tightness from them. That is because the grease inside is actually compressing a little bit. So I recommend after you've tightened up each side to go back over and give it a little bit of a crank. Again, you don't want to strip these. They don't need to be put down like it's um, <laughs> the last thing you're ever gonna do, but you do want it to be firm so that this hose is gonna hold back the 60 PSI from the pump and not come loose. Come back around, there we go. I got an extra like quarter turn off of that one. And this one here, same thing, nice little extra little turn. All right, you have just now completely installed a pre-batching proportioner system. This is gonna give you the ability to stop pre-batching your mixtures. It's gonna allow you to start live mixing. That's gonna save you time. It's gonna save you material. And ultimately, that's gonna save you money. All these parts are available at jnequipment.com under our stealth section for stealth washing, or I should say uh, under our soft wash stealth section.